It is the 35th anniversary of G.I. Joe this year. You all know G.I. Joe. I think most kids had a G.I. Joe when they were growing up. And it's funny that it came up last night because the Hasbro Corporation, uh, which makes G.I. Joe, is conducting a nationwide search to find a person who exemplifies all the good qualities of G.I. Joe. And they'll actually, you know, base their new G.I. Joe on that person. And it's a big search, and I read about it in the paper about a month ago, and I thought, this sounds really cool, this sounds exciting. Mm -hmm. I should go to Cincinnati, Ohio, <laughs> which is where the Hasbro Corporation uh, makes the G.I. Joes, and I should check this out. So I brought a camera crew with me, and here's what happened. G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe, fighting man for the to go, on the land, on the sea, in the air. Hi, I'm standing outside the Hasbro Toy Building in Cincinnati, Ohio, this is where they make the G.I. Joe action figure. Uh, G.I. Joe is uh, 35 years old this year, and the company is having a nationwide search to find a person who exemplifies the heroism, manliness, courage of G.I. Joe. And uh, I don't know, I think I'm that man. <laughs> Let's go inside and see if we can convince them. Follow me. One, two, yeah. One. This is a display of all the 1999 G.I. Joes, and it's pretty impressive. This guy looks like he's a fighter pilot right here. There's, of course, an astronaut. These are some Desert Storm G.I. Joes sneaking through the weeds. Uh, this guy right here is Big Wuss G.I. Joe. <laughs> he just comes in there all the time. I don't feel so good. This is, um, this guy's kind of interesting. This is, he's wearing a poncho. That's flashback G.I. Joe. Look at that. He's clearly remembering all kinds of stuff from Nam that he'd rather forget. He's, he's about to crack at any moment. I like this G.I. Joe. It's saluting G.I. Joe. Take a look at this. Attention. Look how that goes down. Isn't that great? He's also got another uh, function. He's also uh, flatulence. G.I. Joe, look at this. Woo! Sorry, Sarge. This is Chris and Bob. They're uh, the design team here at G.I. Joe. And uh, gentlemen, I thought that I would be a great prototype for the new G.I. Joe. What do you think? Yeah, I think it got some possibilities. You know, it got a good looking face and uh, body. Are you, you know? attracted to me? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that. Well, you just said I had a good looking face. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see that scar? It's, it's the trademark of every G.I. Joe since I think the beginning of time. Would my G.I. Joe face the Conan G.I. Joe would it have a scar if you if you'd like one you'd give me a scar right there mm -hmm. that's horrific looking yes it is isn't it could you give me more of like one tucked behind the ear so that I have a scar but it's more of like a facelift scar and the hair kind of mostly covers it maybe possibly under the chin right okay now it looks like I've yeah I had a tracheotomy <laughs> good God y'all These are some of the uh, classic G.I. Joes. It's a series that they have depicting great G.I. Joes through history. There's George Washington, Theodore Roosevelt, Patton. This is Dwight Eisenhower with uh, some needlepoint. No, wait, that's a map, sorry. That's Omar Bradley. And then finally, a little confusing, Mr. T. And uh, he comes, of course, complete with his pity list because he does pity the fool who messes with him. This is Bob, and Bob, you make the actual model from the drawing? That's correct. From the drawing and also from watching you on TV and from still photos that we have. Okay, uh, show us what you do here. This, this is pretty is, interesting. Uh, first thing is to get your skull shape right. Okay. That's very important for getting the likeness, the skull shape. I don't know if this helps you, but I have a big old Irish melon. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> I have spent probably eight hours, and I have a very rough caricature. That's just from watching you on TV. Okay, uh, I'm not the Riddler. I mean, look at that, look at that, look at that chin right there. Do I have that kind of please beat me to death grin half the time? You seem to that night. I'm looking at your cheekbones and at your chin and, and the basic geometry of your proportions. Are you attracted to me at all? Um, slightly. Just 
this is the finished this is the finished head yeah, that's the finished head well you've imp certainly improved my color thank you very much <laughs> yeah the hair looks good uh the cheekbones are there that's nice that you've picked up on the high school acne scarring thank you <laughs> This is Anne, and Anne, you're going to be painting the face and the body, is that right? Yes, I will. I basically, uh, I don't match the G.I. Joe body, and so I brought along some different body types that I feel a little more accurate for me. May I show them to you? Sure. This is basically longer legs, longer arms, skinnier, and large male nipples. Uh, but that's just a little private fetish of mine, okay? <laughs> then there's this one right here. This is after a big weekend. This is called Six Burrito G.I. Joe. What do you think? You like this one? Yeah, it's very very bloated. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm with child in this one. And then we're maybe thinking of going in this direction. It's slightly exaggerated musculature for me, but the emphasis on slightly. What do you think? That's nice. It's nice. I like it. Do you like a... Personally, do you like a guy with that kind of body, a, a giant muscled body and a tiny head? <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's not very thoughtful, you know, that guy. Well, that's okay. That's really? okay. He looks good. Okay, he looks good. He'll forget your birthday. <laughs> He'll actually forget your name, this guy. <laughs> it's okay. You don't care? All right. Wow. Not sentimental at all. So here's the Conan, and what, what have you done so far with the painting? So far, I painted the skin, and um, I airbrushed some freckles. They're not probably dark enough. I don't, see, see, I don't see the freckles. Where are the very freckles? Slight. They're very slight. Well, those look like precancerous moles. <laughs> he saw this guy in a bar, and he's like, hey, how are you? <laughs> What would you, you know, what would your response be? Hey, uh, can I buy you a drink? No. No, I don't know. <laughs> This is where we're going to spray paint the body, is that right? Yeah. We're now covering my... Oh, that feels good. Do you have a whiter color for my butt? I want to actually put more wh white. Just let's get some white. Because okay. my butt has never seen the sun. Once in the early 60s. See, this is starting now to look more like my butt. I'm not kidding. Gentlemen, I've been through the whole process. This is the finished Conan head. Hope you guys are pleased with it, because we're going to be making a lot of these. And this is the finished Conan body. Um, I went for, as you can see, a much whiter white than you're probably used to seeing, but we thought we should go for the authentic. And here's the dramatic moment. Drum roll, please. And, okay, and there we go. And that is pretty much what I look like when I'm naked. Um, like I have to tell you. <laughs> Hiya, folks. How are ya? Oh, welcome to the show, everybody. I'm gonna go to the store. Oh, look. A penny. Who knew? Oh, my God. My head fell off. Oh. Head gone. Oh, get to. Excellent. So look for that. I see big sales for that yeah, item. Yeah, the whole special forces <laughs> team. <laughs> All right, we're uh, going to take a little break. you got to stick around tonight. Chris Rock will be here when we return.